So now that we've learned how to knit, we're going to learn how to purl. And purling is a complement to knitting, where knitting you have your yarn in the back, you go through the back of the loop, you come through the forward, through the front, we're going to be doing the exact opposite. So we're going to take our yarn, we're going to put it in front of our work, we're going to go through the, try to make you easier, make it easier to see. We're going to go through the front of the loop, the part that's closest to the end of the needle. And we're going to go through the back and it's going to, our right needle is going to be on top of the left needle. Again, we're going to go counterclockwise. We're going to have the needles kiss and gently you're going to take your right needle up through the loop. You're going to have a loop on the right loop, right, right needle and a loop on the left needle and you're going to take that loop off the left needle. So that should leave you with one loop. I've already done two here. So um, let's try that again. So we're in front now. A good way to tell if you've just purled is if your um, yarn is in front. So we're going to go through the front of the loop towards the back. We're going to go counterclockwise. I kind of use my thumb to hold. We are going to make the needles kiss. Pull through that loop and then slide off the end of the left hook. Sorry, the left needle. So let's slow it down one more time. We're going to go through the front of the loop using our right needle we're going to go towards the back we're going to go loop around counterclockwise we're going to make our needles kiss and gently slide that right needle up the left needle sometimes you don't grab the whole yarn and you got to go back through the loop again but it's all about practice you so say you have your um, hoop on your loop on your right hook and so you're going to gently move that loop off the left hook and I'm going to leave you to finish up the rest of this row through around kiss pull pull through around, kiss, I don't know why, I just like to say that they're kissing, pull, you may have noticed that by now, push through, pull through, push through, pull through, I'm gonna slide this back down a little bit, and make sure my yarn is in front and then I'm going to go through, wrap around, pull the yarn through and there I have 10 pearls but let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. Now we can have a little bit of fun but let's first talk about the stitches that we have here. So you can see that this um, part of the yarn, um, part of our work, is really bumpy on both sides. And that's because we knitted the whole way. Uh, we did a knit stitch um, on each row. If you knit on each row or you purl on each row, you create what's called the garter stitch. And it's bumpy on both sides. 
if you knit on one row and you purl on another row, you create the stockinette stitch, which is nice and smooth on one side and bumpy on the other side. Now, the stockinette stitch does tend to um, does tend to curl, so you want to make sure that you um, have a border or something that will keep it from curling, unless you want the curl, uh, which is totally fine. So let's have some fun with the knit and purl stitches. So I'm going to switch my needles. I'm going to switch my um, right needle to my left hand. And I'm going to start by knitting. So my yarn is in the back. I'm going to go through the back of the stitch counterclockwise, make the needles kiss, and then go through the back and pull off. Next, I'm going to take the yarn and move it to the front. This is where Continental is a little bit faster um, for some people. Here I'm going to purl, so I'm going to go through the front of the loop towards the back, swirl it around counterclockwise, and I'm going to go back and forth. You can see how I'm just taking the yarn with me um, to the front and to the back. And I know this is a little bit fast, but I wanted to show you this um, really simple stitch because it um, involves just knitting and purling in um, different orders. So let's say I forgot what I did and let's say I have a hundred loops on this hook and I don't want to count that many. I can see from this that I purled because the bump is in the front and the yarn is coming out from the front. So if I want to, if I'm doing a pattern, I know that I need to knit next. Knitting is going to put the bump in the back and it's going to have the yarn coming out of the back. And I'm trying to stay in focus as much as I can for you guys. So hopefully this works. I'm ending with a purl, which makes sense because I started with a knit. Let's make sure I have 10 stitches, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Perfect. And now I'm gonna move and I'm going to do the same exact pattern on um, the other side. So I'm going to start with a knit. And then I'm going to purl. And then I'm going to knit. And I'm going to keep that pattern up. So I just purled, it's coming out the front, so I need to knit, and then I'm going to purl. So now that I have all this on here, you can see that I started to make a rib stitch where I have distinct ribs going down 
um, vertically in my pattern. And if you flip it over, you'll see the same pattern. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a fun time making it. And if you want to learn how to do any more crafts, just let me know. Have a great day and love you guys a lot. Bye.